Hi, my name is uh, Scott Lowe. I work in the Networking and Security Business Unit. It's the group within VMware that was formed after we acquired uh, NYSERA last year. So, um, historically with OpenSec, our, our integration has been focused around uh, networking. Um, so our network virtualization solutions integrate very well with OpenSec networking, uh, the Quantum Project. But um, we are moving aggressively to expand our participation in OpenStack to include uh, better integration on the compute side and exploring you know, other integration points. And earlier today, I gave a demonstration of the code we, we released uh, with the Grizzly release that allows us uh, better integration of our uh, vSphere platform within OpenStack. So for customers who want to leverage uh, vSphere uh, as their compute virtualization platform, they can do so within OpenStack. You know, there's been a lot of buzz about uh, software-defined networking and a lot of hype and, and that sort of thing. Our, our view is that, you know, to really be effective with uh, infrastructure as a service like OpenStack, you have to have not only um, programmability and, and automation around compute, which is done, you know, in, in OpenStack through the Nova project, and not only storage, which is done through, you know, Swift and Glance and Cinder, but you have to do it at the network layer as well. And that's why uh, some of the uh, guys from, from NYSERA were instrumental in working with others to create the quantum project and define the ability to have you know networking as a service within OpenStack so that you know users can uh, easily programmatically uh, spin up virtual networking constructs uh, for tenants and provide the appropriate network virtualization uh, properties you know traffic isolation reproduction of the, of the network properties um, and virtualized network services so vSphere is you know VMware's uh, kind of traditional platform. It's, it's what they've uh, historically focused on. It was what they you know, kind of became famous for was compute virtualization, very scalable, very reliable, uh, very um, uh, secure uh, compute platform. Um, and what, uh, what VMware's done with the Grizzly release is change the way that uh, vSphere interacts with uh, OpenStack so that customers can now, when, when they have workloads that need it, they can actually take advantage of some of the, the advanced infrastructure features that vSphere offers, like you know, high availability and, and dynamic uh, resource scheduling for uh, more effective uh, workload utilization uh, transparently within OpenStack uh, using the code that we released as part of the, the Grizzly release. Well, you know, high availability of the cloud, it really kind of comes down to two different discussions. You you can either say, I want to take and re rework my applications so that the applications become sort of highly, highly available or they become cloud aware. In other words, you kind of design the application for failure so it becomes decoupled and, and uh, capable of, of you know, sustaining a failure somewhere else. Or you can say, well, I need to provide some higher level of, of availability in the infrastructure itself and that allows me to kind of bring over existing applications without having to retool them. Uh, you know, the argument as to which approach is better is kind of epic, right? And uh, the, the nice thing is that you're know, providing customers the opportunity to bring vSphere into OpenStack uh, and, and use that in conjunction with open source hypervisors like KVM and Zen, which don't um, by themselves offer the sort of higher availability services in the infrastructure, allows customers to deploy to either one, depending on what they need to do, um, basically mixing and matching for the right use case. So it gives, it gives more choice and more flexibility. Thank you.